Hello! Ah, got some beautiful false licences for you today. From the back of the lawyer's bins we present Batman Begins, the fake trading cards. 2006. So presumably Batman's already begun by now? No idea. It's for our new best friends at Log, which is a company that seems to have ripped off Batman logos and sort of semi-integrated it into its own, but then not managed to centre it properly. Well done, lads. But it is DM104, your guarantee of quality, maybe. So, what artwork have we got ripped off? We've got three bales, a Clooney, and a statue of Batman from the Batman cartoon. That's a great start, and it cost $5.99. I don't know which actual country it came from, but one that uses dollars. I also noticed it's very, very dirty on top. Been sitting on a shelf for a while. Well, fake trading cards packaged upside down. There we are. That's the kind of attention to detail we expect. Anyway, on the back, pleasingly, is the origin story of Batman. This is how Batman begun. Are you sitting comfortably? <coughs> then we'll begin. When being a child, Bruce Wayne had witnessed with his own eyes the fact his parents of millionaire were killed cruelly, so affected his strong desire of revenging his parents. However, God had never given him a chance to fulfil his will. Following the advice of Ra's al Ghul, the chief of Ninja Group... <clears throat> Bruce came to Geet, which was a corrupted city filled with various crime groups. Bruce found a basement under his villa, in which the equipment turned him into another person. Spider-Man. With this mask, Spider-Man stroke all criminal activates and criminals everywhere, such as Tugon, the chief of Mafia, Dr. Jack Straw, the abnormal drug trafficker, even a mysterious opponent's quite familiar with him. Batman begins. As Spider-Man, apparently. You know, they've not done a incredibly bad job of running up the story in dodgy pigeon English, but... Um, you really do need to keep the name of the superhero consistent throughout your story. Batman, I don't think, ever was Spider-Man, not even at the weekend. The one that amuses me most is Dr Jack Straw. There was an old British politician called Jack Straw who I think was in charge of drugs policy, and they're referring to Dr Jack Straw, the abnormal drug trafficker, presumably meaning the scarecrow. Uh, Gotham has become Geet. Don't quite understand that one. And my favourite one is the Chief of Mafia is now called Tugon. I don't know who on earth that's a reference to. I thought it was the Falcone family or something. Never mind. Anyway, let's have a look at the fake trading cards. Although, unfortunately, nothing is ever going to beat that intro. Um... Yeah, that, that's a good sign of quality. Batman Begins, with pictures of the uh, Batman Forever film. Marvellous. What have we got? Ripped off uh, Batman and Robin art. Uh, and again. And I think that one is from the Christian Bale films. Is now, I think that is actually from Batman Begins. That one probably is as well. So is that one. So is that one. Oh, look, it's Gary Oldman. OK, these aren't very interesting. They've just ripped off any Spider-Man pictures they could possibly find. <laughs> Stuck them on a card, haven't bothered giving them a name, and have just put on random attack and defence numbers. Marvellous. But see how they shimmer so, Mr Sir. Oh, my goodness, what's going on there? I think that's a toy advert or something. Crikey. I'll have a quick scan through the others. Batmobile. That's presumably a render from an Xbox game or something. Uh, crikey. They really have just done Google image search and send to printer, haven't they? Oh well, haven't we had that one already? I can't even tell. There we are, there's two gone, look. How you doing, mate? And yeah, there's many repetitions and... Uh... Well, on the plus side, the card is quite thick. I'm lying, it's thin as all arseholes, that's why it's all bent up. Anyway, enough. Let's get something different in. About time we caught up with our old friends at the interstellar galactic war of Star Wart. Yep, change one letter. Thing is, lads, you kind of have to change a letter that doesn't turn into a completely different word. Anyway, what's the deal with Star Wart? Answer, fake Lego from Lele. It's a building block series, and they've ripped off all the Lego artwork on it, and here is a clone trooper with green arms and a lightsaber. And apparently he comes with two guns as well. He's a lucky man, isn't he? Hmm. And on the back, a slightly different clone trooper. And the same picture again. Oh my god, it comes with trading cards, right? I need this open now. So what is the quality like? Yeah, that's that's quite lego I suppose. I'm guessing sort of slightly more brittle plastic? I don't know. Oh yeah. Slightly more. It's not terrible quality. The skin on his head is a funny yellowy colour. I don't know if that's coming out in the camera. Okay, let's stick his arms on. Urgh. Do his legs come off? Oh yes they do, look, yep. A complete Lego rip-off down to the moles by the looks of it. In you go. 
Ooh, hands, they're always useful. On you go. One of those, ah, and one in the other. Click. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the sort of dodgy moulding lines on it. It's very cheap, but it does the job, and from a distance you probably wouldn't notice it isn't a Lego one, apart from the fact the head looks a bit squashed. Now I've done that. Disappointingly, it doesn't come with a red lightsaber. You get something that looks a bit like a handle off a pump or something. Another one of those, in case you didn't get enough the first time. A small rifle, you, know, you can have that, your blaster there. And a much bigger rifle for shooting people further off. There we are. Guns akimbo for Star Wart. They haven't actually named the character, have they? Oh, they have on the card. He's Admiral Akbar. <laughs> Admiral. Sounds like that old um, public service announcement from the 70s with Charlie the Cat in. Charlie says, so we're having him put down. Right, what other cards have we got in here? Nothing's going to be Admiral Akbar, I don't think. It's a trap! Yes, thank you, Admiral. Star Wars. And it's just a picture of Anakin winning a trophy. That's slightly odd. Uh, Star Wars. Oh, give us another silly name. Go on. Nope. That's the best one. Generic character number four holding up a thing. Yep, well, it's got no force points, no armour, one round droid, and no heart. Wow, it's the best game ever, and uh, yeah, even cheaper actually than the Batman cards. But don't worry, Star Wars isn't over yet. We've still got Master Yoda, who inexplicably seems to come on some sort of crocodile mobile. Don't remember that being in the films, but hey, it could have been in those Clone Wars cartoons, because nobody watched them. What's on the top, if you look, it's like a Lego Darth Malgus from that uh, Old Republic video game, very odd. In fact, there's a Sith Trooper from it, fighting Yoda. Yoda going in there with his crocodile mobile while he's got like a souped up toaster or something, I've got no idea. And with weapons we get, which we probably won't get, green lightsaber, spear and a gun. Specifications, colours and contents may vary from illustrationars. Good, thanks for that. So basically we've got no idea what we're getting. Well, let's find out. We've got a rip cord. that's a good start. Ah, uh, some cars. Or cards, even. And, yeah, a little uh, flywheel crocodile thing. Oh, I can't be bothered to put Yoda together. There's too many hands. There's two of them. Right. Well, he's not really tall. Here he goes. The head is really well moulded. I don't think you can see it's really detailed. Hmm. Although there are... Oh, no, that's just a bit of a sprue or something on it. And he has actually got a lightsaber. Of dubious quality, but nonetheless a lightsaber. So there we are, let's sit you on here. And presumably this will go through one of these? Nope. Oh! Uh, that must surely go through here. Ah, this looks better. So you can go... Bloody hell! And he shoots off the sofa at a thousand miles an hour. That was fun, I'm going to do that again. You just fall off. I'm sure he'll be back. He'll just live on Dagobah for the rest of his life. Here we go. Oh, it just shot the stuff backwards. <laughs> Damn you, forces of nature. Well, that's actually not a bad toy in its way. I mean, it shoots forward. What more do you want? You can have kids smashing it into the uh, side of the walls and chipping all the paint off. What more do you want from life? Go on then, we've got a Master Yoda card. I want another card with a funny name. The other ones just seem to say Star Wars on them. There's the Yoda. Star Wars, it's the Emperor. Star Wars, it's just Lego pictures you've totally ripped off. They haven't even cut that one out properly. Look, it's too close to the top of the uh, card. Well done, lads. Ah, oh, well, at least we won't be seeing anything like that again until we look at Lele Returns with Teenage Motant Ninja Tortles. Tortle Tortles. Teenage Motant Ninja Tortles. 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 There we are. That's how we're going to pronounce it. The heroes in a hoff shell. Tortles Pua. There we are. Raphael. There he is with his sigh and his uh, obviously ripped off from Lego existence. What on earth all this stuff is? Is this this, um... Oh, what's that? Uh, there's like a martial arts themed um, Lego spin-off at the moment with ninjas and skeletons and things, and I cannot think of the name of it for the life of me. Ninja Go! There we are. Thank you, anonymous contributor off-camera. Oh, so you can have a turtle fighting a 
twin katana wielding pink fish? Is that something that happens these days? I blame the parents. Not suitable for children under 36 months, or in fact anybody. Tested according to international standards. Hmm. What international standards are they, indeed? Very, very vague ones, I imagine. Go on, what's it like inside then? Answer, cheap. Very, very cheap, I imagine. Right, so we've got this thing. Uh, not quite sure what's going on there. A little bit seems to spin. We've got some other sort of uh, connecting green fluorescent shuriken thing. And indeed, Raphael! And some bricks. How does this... Hmm, well that seems to be what's going on. I don't know what the bricks are for. Very odd. So, open the little bag. As you'll notice it's a generic self-sealing one, of course. And... There one. There you come. There you come. This doesn't look that bad a quality, actually. Again, they're not bad little things, these rip-offs. As they go, if they're incredibly cheap, they'd almost be worthwhile. Although they're probably made of some sort of toxic R. And before I even finish that sentence, I've seen that the paint on the face isn't that great. Not terrible, but not particularly good. Right. Click! Oh god, that doesn't want to go in. Oh. Yeah, your kids aren't going to be putting these ones together. They need the strength of 14 men just to get the bloody arms in. There we are. And a hand for you. And another hand for you, because I wouldn't want you to feel left out. Here we go. There we are. Have your sigh going on. We've got a katana for later. Um, right, so he sort of clips onto there like that. I see. And, um, yes. <laughs> does this come apart then? What does the... Uh, I don't understand what the toy does. There seems to be some sort of spinning thing going on, according to that. Um, oh, do we just put it... There's some reason the legs are moving, presumably. I'm not getting this. I don't see what to do with it. Do these fit on the bottom in some manner? Does this help? Are these going to break themselves? Ah, look, this looks promising. A little deal. Ah, look, there's your answer to that. Look, you just put a round bottom on and spin it round. Ah, oh, I'm quite disappointed with that. Hopefully, there's something I've missed, but there probably isn't. Oh my God! You can see the rest of the range. Now I'm excited. Go on, Lily. Tell us what's going on. Bloody hell, they're doing hundreds of them. There's various shredders and turtles and pink fish and. Uh, that's all it is actually repeated over and over the four turtle shredder and pink fish man. Oh, that's quite disappointing. Well, there's some two packs, also consisting of exactly the same things. Thanks, guys. That's really good. Here's a card. It's got more numbers on than the other cards and is therefore better. I'm going to have a quick look in the back, just in case. I don't know if there's anything particularly exciting judging by the others. There's no names or anything. Oh, there's. Worried looking mining man? I don't remember him from Ninja Turtles. Uh, there's, good God, Thousand Yard Stare Ninja. Suffering some horrifying post traumatic stress disorder, the poor bugger. And, good God, Krang, I would imagine, looking at that. Because, yeah, the Krang was the little alien baddie in the robot body. A particularly scary Terminator version of Krang. Crimey. Oh, well, fair enough. Oh, well, that's the end of those, apart from this other one that I haven't shown you yet. Dun dun dun! Uh -huh. I got to be a turtle. This is from a slightly different company called Xiao or Zhao or something like that. Featuring Donatella on a surfboard as he licks the blood of his fallen enemies off his lips. Um, hmm. So this is a different company because it does look suspiciously similar. Well, let's see if the insides are different. Oh yeah, no, this is different, look, different packaging and stuff. And oh my god, that's cheap. So cheap. Also, he's got a picture of himself on his skateboard and his greatest enemy on his skateboard. I don't actually know why that is, to remind him who he hates and who he is at the same time. Ooh, look, this bag is sealed. This is a higher quality company, clearly. And no, the actual toy is exactly the same. It even has very similar paint problems to the last ones. Oh well, there's a surprise. It has however got shattered legs. I haven't bothered to put the legs together before putting it in. Does he have a pelvis? Oh yeah, it's attached here. Ugh. This is horrible actually. It's a bit like a Ninja Turtle graveyard down here. Look at this. Bloody wars. He's got some sort of medieval axe going on. Halberd are there for uh, rending people. 
and well yes it's all the same over again although there is some sort of dodgy looking plastic chain here he is looks a bit like a snaggle tooth rather than a tongue I think they've uh, <laughs> rather foolishly painted it white oh well Go to the dentist, mate. Get that sorted out. Well, that's the end of that then. Apart from the invincibility robot. Oh, I've got to adjust the camera now, haven't I? That'll teach me for being clever. There we are. Invincibility robot. I think this is what we call a complete fucking rip-off of a bionicle, to say the least. It's from Bella. Was that the same as the last one? No, that was Xiao, that was Lele, this is Bella. There's a lot of these companies that like to uh, make little logos that look a bit like Lego, don't they? Well, invincibility robots, and I mean, if you're going to make a robot, may as well make an invincibility robot. And yes, that appears to just be a barnacle thing. Hmm, I feel a jump cut coming on. Bing! And this week on the world's cheapest plastic show, it's Ripoff Bionicle Invincibility Robot. Yeah, um, it's basically a sort of semi-articulated bionicle. And oh man, listen to this when you move the joints. Oh, painful! Ah, oh, dearie me. But it kind of looks the part. You could put it on your shelf, and it just looks kind of slightly discoloured, as opposed to sounding like this. Oh, those joints move all right. <laughs> That's right, ruin my sound effect. Ah, that's better. Ooh, feel that. Ooh, we only got some oil on that, mate. Well, there we go. Sit down there with your flaming head, your flaming sword, and your thing that could possibly be a shield, or maybe it's some sort of blades. And you know what? I frankly don't care. Well, there we are. Save yourself some money by avoiding the uh, incredibly expensive Lego and buying this cheap stuff if you can find it. Then finding that it's quite low quality and, frankly... The cards are going to confuse you the flipping heck out of you. Oh my god! I just I didn't open these, look! The Donatello cards. No, it was Michelangelo, that one wasn't it? Oh bloody, I don't know. They should all be called Jeff, it'd be much easier for everybody. Whirlwind. Blow on spinners until a payer wins. That sounds like a very strange gambling game. Double duel. What the? That's a really weird picture. It looks like it's drawn in MS Paint or something. Put an extra weapon in character's hand until a player wins. Then remove. What, wins the game? Surely you'd stop playing that anyway. And now here's some other cards that don't have anything written on, but um, just have ripped off photos. And what is that even? Is it like a foot soldier? One of the evil men? And like half a logo or something? I've got no idea. Oh, but we've got something good for the last one. Double duel! Put an extra weapon in cow, it's the same one again. Ugh. I tell you what, these cards are a never-ending source of disappointment and confusion. Much like one of those online dating sites. 